Watch the video. Why did the boy's mother rub some bicarbonate soda paste on the bite area? Yes, the bicarbonate soda will neutralize the end bite. This reaction is called neutralization. Watch the video. Do you know how much heat is released during this reaction? Let's measure how much heat energy is released during the reaction. Watch the video and answer the following questions. 50 cubic centimeters of 2 mole per cubic decimeter sodium hydroxide solution is poured into a polystyrene cup. The initial temperature of the solution is measured with a thermometer. Record the reading in the table provided. 50 cubic centimeters of 2 mole per cubic decimeters hydrochloric acid is poured into a polystyrene cup. The initial temperature of the solution is measured with a thermometer. Record the reading. Calculate the average temperature of both solutions. Hydrochloric acid is poured into a polystyrene cup containing sodium hydroxide solution. The mixture is stirred and the final temperature of the mixture is measured with a thermometer. Record the reading in the table provided. What is the difference in temperature during the reaction? Key in your answer in the table. Now with the data we have, we can calculate the heat released from the reaction. How do we do this? Key in the data in the blanks and find out the heat released during the reaction. Yes, the heat released during the neutralization is 5.46 kilojoules. What would be the amount of energy released when one mole of water is formed during the neutralization? Let us calculate together. First, calculate the number of moles of the reactants used and water formed during the neutralization. Click Hint if you need some help. Key in the data in the empty boxes and find out the number of moles of hydrogen and hydroxide ions used and water formed during the neutralization. Yes, 5.46 kilojoules of heat is released when 0.1 mole of water is formed during the neutralization. How much energy would be released if 1 mole of water is formed during the neutralization? Key in the empty boxes to calculate your answer. Yes, the energy released when one mole of water is formed during the neutralization is 54.6 kilojoules. The energy released when one mole of water is formed during neutralization is called the heat of neutralization. Thus, we can say that the heat of neutralization of sodium hydroxide solution with hydrochloric acid is negative 54.6 kilojoules per mole. The negative sign in front of the value indicates that heat is released. From the calculation based on the activity in the video, we can write the thermochemical equation for the formation of water during the neutralization as this. But the actual value of heat of neutralization is negative 57.3 kilojoules per mole.
Why is there a difference between the actual value and the calculated value? Discuss with your friends. What does the energy level diagram for the neutralization of sodium hydroxide solution with hydrochloric acid look like? Let's draw. Based on the data in the thermochemical equation shown, draw its energy level diagram. Then key in the reactants, products, and the value of delta H. Study the flowchart. Use this to guide you when solving the problem involving heat of neutralization. 50 cubic centimeters of 2 mole per cubic decimeter ethanoic acid or CH3COOH was added to 50 cubic centimeters of 2 mole per cubic decimeter potassium hydroxide. The temperature of the mixture increased by 12.8 degrees Celsius. Answer the following questions. Key in your answer in the boxes provided. 